Hello everyone. In this video, let's learn how to install the Karyo Control VPN server. In this video, we will assume you have already deployed a Karyo Control firewall, either as a hardware box, a software appliance, or a virtual appliance. To help your users connect to your company's internal network and enable them to access all of the resources they had previously, you need to establish the Karyo Control VPN server first. Let's look at how we do that. First, you need to go to the web user interface of your Karyo Control file. Once entered, you need to go to the Interfaces section. In Interfaces, locate IPsec and Karyo Control VPN interfaces. You will see the VPN server. Double click on the VPN server. Today, we are learning about the Karyo VPN server, so we should enable that server first. If you would like, you can change the default IP address and the mask. If not, this will also work fine. Secondly, go to the Karyo VPN tab. For security reasons, we encourage you to use your own certificates, but you can use the full certificates or you can create the certificates of the local authority. Please remember that these certificates also need to be installed on the client computers, so the connection will be trusted. If necessary, you can change the Listen On port. You can also choose that VPN clients will access the internet through the VPN. This means all traffic, even recreational traffic generated by your clients, will be going back to your company through a Karyo controlled firewall, and from there to the internet through your connection. You can have custom rules as needed. For DNS settings, you can keep the default. For WINS, you can also keep the default. When this is done, click on OK. And don't forget to click on Apply in the bottom right-hand corner. With all this done, you should see that the VPN server is up. The next thing is to enable users to use the Karyo Control VPN. Go to the Users section and select the user. Go to Rights and make sure the checkbox User can connect using VPN is checked. If this is done, this user is fully capable of using the VPN services. You can test it by opening the Karyo Control VPN client typing the connection, the server, your username, and your password. When the connection is successful, you will see that the Karyo Control VPN client is connected to the specific server. And you will also see in the details that one client is connected. We can also see the same information when we go to status and go to VPN clients. Here, you can also see which user is using the VPN what kind of operating system he or she is using, the host name, the IP address of that user, and also the time of login. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.